Hello, I am uh, Wilson Joffier from Ferox Tech. I'm a digital consultant, web designer and developer. And in this tutorial video, I will show you how to use the Elementor page builder in WordPress. And I will show you how to use it. You see this page is relatively blank on this website, but in just a moment, I'll be showing you how to add content to it, be it text, images, buttons, and so on, and to quickly build your page uh, with Elementor. What is Elementor? It is a page builder. That is a builder that helps you to build, to put content on your website in a beautiful way, in a quick way, uh, without having to write code. And it helps you to really uh, do it um faster and get a beautiful website so to do that you have to start by creating your page or editing an existing page let me just show you how to create a page so to go back to the dashboard just hover over here and you're in dashboard and this is going to in just a moment load your wordpress dashboard where you'll be creating your page and, and, and then adding it, editing it with Elementor. So you can either start by creating a new page or editing an existing page. Let me show you both ways in just a moment. So to create a new page, hover over new and then to page. And once you do this, it will load and you'll be able to create a new page. So we are there, just add the title like home. And then all you need to do is to click and edit with Elementor. But here I don't really want to add a new page. I already have some pages. So if you are on the dashboard, let's just leave. If you're on the dashboard here and you want to go to your, the pages that are already on this website, just check on this menu and go to pages. And there you see our existing pages and to edit it with Elementor, simply uh, click on edit. And then here you already see that it's, you can, you find the button of edit with Elementor just up here or down here. So once you see that button with edit with Elementor, just click on edit with Elementor. And this is going to take uh, anywhere between five and 10 seconds and the Elementor page builder editor will be open and you'll be good to go to start editing uh, your page and adding content to it. So here our Elementor uh, page builder has loaded. So you see that here on Elementor, we have a page that is blank. And on this other left side, we have icons. And these icons represent, we can drag them. They are like self-explanatory, like a heading is already showing it. Images, text, and so on, buttons. You can just drag them and drop, and you'll be able to start editing. So on Elementor, here you have this menu. If you want to see all these icons, always remember to click on this menu with nine dots. If you want to see some other settings, just click on this other menu with strokes and you will be able to see some other settings. Uh, but we are just going to go to straight to start uh, adding content to our page. So you click on this menu to see your icons. But what you want, I want to, we want to do at first is to add a section. And a section is just a container that, has, that contains content, be it your text, your images, uh, or other things. So to add a section, just click on this plus icon. Um, and then on the, this section here, in most, most of the time, you'll be adding a single, uh, you'll be adding a, 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 you'll be adding a single column, uh, that is a, a section with a single column, but there are, there are some, there are some, there are some cases where you might need two columns. So just add that in if it is necessary. But in this case, I'll just add a section with just one column. And here you see my section. Normally, 
uh, if I have edited my team, I wouldn't have the sidebar, but we'll just work without the sidebar. If there was no sidebar, I would just have to stretch this through. But since there is a sidebar, and this is a beginner's tutorial, I wouldn't want to stretch it because if I stretch it, you see it has extended. Um, another way, let me, before we move into that, I want to let you know that there are two ways that we can actually add the build our page you can start with a template or you can start from scratch or if your page has already been built by a, a web designer or developer you might want to just edit it so to add a template templates are just pages that have already been designed and you just change it to make it your own so you just click on this other folder add template and in just a moment it will load some templates already designed pages you can look at them and yeah you can look at them if you like it if it's what you want to do you can just add and then you edit to you can just add by inserting click on insert and it will just replace everything on your page it's looking beautiful uh but most of the time personally i i don't use templates a lot because a lot of times i want something really customized so i to so if i want something customized i'll just like i've just done before click on this plus to add a section most of the time i choose this one column but if two are necessary for you you select here or more so i click on this section and uh, what i do i usually give it a width and a column width of 1000 in some cases it might not be 1000 but here i give it 1000 so this is our section and you see the the blue icon usually marks any element or any section we are on so to select a section simply click on this other dot here um, then inside the section you also have what we call columns so a column is inside the section let's quickly just to duplicate uh, let's quickly add another column by duplicating we right click and then on duplicate so you see a column is inside of this section this section has two columns i can always duplicate to make more columns and these columns can contain content so we will come to that in just a moment and to delete just right click and delete right click and delete but we just want to have this first section here like this so to add something like your text to the page let's just drag our text and we have seen a section a column and the text here is a widget you can add a text widget an image widget a button widget so we have section column and widget so we have just drag and drop our text widget here so to edit it just go here and change um, my beautiful website and here you have some controls but most of the time you if it necessary for you you can align it to the center then on the content tab then on the style tab on the content tab you change the content or what is the content of whatever you want to do on the style you want to change things like your color uh, font size shapes and so on and on advanced there are other controls which we look at so after we have added our content or edited our title we go to style and we can change the color here you can either use this global and global colors are colors that you have set already uh, in elementor by going here and then site settings you can check that but this is a beginner tutorial so to select a widget just hover over it and click on this button and and so we can add a color as global which means that once we change this global color it will change everywhere on the side that we have used it but in this case we just uh, want to use uh, this color picker here to pick a color that we want so if you if you want a certain color just pick and you can change the typography as well uh, which is changing how the text looks you can adjust the size to, to, to media taste you can even change the font but in most cases you want to leave that as it is you can once you change the size you can see how it looks on tablet if it's fine you continue to check it looks on good on mobile it's too big on mobile so you can then 
adjust it to what it will look good for you in mobile and then that wouldn't affect how it looks on desktop then you can change the weight you see it's very thin very very light very bold but here we can leave it at 700 you can transform it and make it uppercase capitalize or whatever but in most cases you want to leave this as default you can check and tweak this but in most cases the essentials that we have touched it then um on advanced tab they, they are mostly two things that you would mostly be interested the margin and the padding and i think you will see this more when we are uh, uh, you want to get to understand this better when we're actually practicing it but just to give you an idea margin adds space around your text padding also adds space around your text but what margin does is it adds space on the outside of your widget while padding adds space on the inside of your widget so if you feel that this text is too close to an, a particular other item you can want you might want to add a margin and you see how it's adding that space padding also do the same thing but it's kind of an on an inside this doesn't show really well on text but when we come to something like a column you see that clearly so let's just put that you can unlink it here and maybe you didn't want any margin on the top you can or you wanted something like only five at the top or the bottom you wanted only five two so it really depends on what you want the margin you can also tweak the unlink it and tweak that so those are some of the really basic edits that you want to do on your text widget you, and anytime you want to edit this particular widget just hover over it and you click on this pen icon you will be there to edit to add a new widget just hop, click here on this menu and you can add now add an image just select your image drag and drop and what you want to do is now it's filled with the kind of a template so you want to click on this pen button then you go to the content tab on this side and here you click to add your image if if you already have an image you can select that and insert but if you don't have that image already you can just click there and upload files select files and any file that you want to select just select that like that open and insert and there uh, the media is inserted for images uh i would like to usually i usually change the prefer the size to be medium large so that it's not too large it's not too big on my page um you can centralize that uh, like we did for text you can change the width you can just has just basically some of the edits you can as well add a radius to the border you see how it's something like you want to round it but most of the time you want to just leave it as it is you can go to the advanced and equally adjust the margin and the, the padding as you like not all the times you want to adjust margin and padding you can at times just add, adjust the margin or the padding depending on what you want so those are some edits you can make on images you can even go to CSS filters here on the style tab and you might want to increase the saturation if you want to touch your image you can touch it here but a lot of times you want to leave it as it is and if you want to go back to where it was if you don't want the change again just hover over back this back to default icon and click and your image is back um now the next uh, item i want us to work on is the text which is different from title title is for like headings white text let's just drag our text and drop it here and so we can now start typing whatever we want to type. So if you want to type, uh, I love designing websites, whatever that is, let me let's just copy that, paste it. I don't know. Anyhow, you want to do it. Okay. So you can actually basically just add your content as you wish and once you add your your content here your text here the edits are similar to what we had for 
yeah, our headings like we go to the style tab you can change the color you can change the typography you can centralize it or whatever you want it you can also adjust the margin these other settings are important but for the beginner let's just keep that um and of course if you want to edit any of this widget be it text widget, heading widget text widget or image widget you can always hover over it and then click there and if you want to make anything edit on your section you can always select your section if it's about a column you can always select it here now let's add something else click on our menu um let's click on the button let's add a button to this page button so we drag and drop our button and here you can change the button text like contact us that's the text that people see on your button like here you have your link like now you want to put the link to the page that you're linking which may be on this side or at times away to another side but in most cases you'll be on your own side so for example i'll just type typing like contact i already have a contact page on this website so and it do search and then once it was it's going to search for this page uh, which is my contact page and once it pulls that out i'll just select the right option so it's searching the page and once it searched the page it would look for the page at times it display more than one page so you want to select the appropriate page and you see it already puts the right link here and you can centralize your button if you like uh, you can make it medium big whatever size i most of the time it's medium but i prefer you can add an icon by going here icon library if there's an icon that you want to add you can add it you can make your icon before after whatever you want it you can change some things here the spacing between the text and icon however you want it to look then you can go to the style and also use the typography and it works just like text you can change like the size of your text here you don't want that to be too big most of the time the default is the one that is good you can change now to this other section here you can change the color of your button like the text color it's already white but let's say if you wanted something else we can pick a different color let's say yellow and then background type we want to make sure it's on and then we want to make this darker green or whatever color you prefer you can change that there and then the border radius around the button if you change that to zero you see it's like square if you change that to something like 200 it's completely round um so you want to tweak that as necessary uh in this case i just want to leave it as default so i claim that you can also manipulate other aspects of it here um one interesting thing let's say i add a different button a different button here let's say here and i can copy I can add the link and the text but i can copy the style in wordpress in elementor you can copy the style to another element similar element so if it's a button you must copy only to a button if it's a text you must copy it only to a text in this case it's a button so we we'll right click copy and then right click on what we want to paste that which i want to paste and paste style so you see it has it has the style of the previous button and now we just need to put the right link on the button um and it's the same thing for images and headings and all other things let me just show you some quick controls here um let's right click and you can duplicate this like if you want to duplicate this image you can right click on it and duplicate um you can also let's say if you want to copy this you can copy this and when you want to paste it somewhere you just hover over the widget close to it where you want to paste right click and then paste you paste it there um let's do another action you can even uh, paste the style as we saw 
and you can if you want to delete it just right click on it and delete if you want to delete right click and delete and then we can also add um, a video like if this is a video want to add a video here just drag and drop the video widget and you can change your link here to whichever video let's say i call performing another search on youtube and i paste it there so it will load a, a different video here you as you can see um there are other controls but those those, those are basically what you want to do on a video uh, you can add other things like icons and you can always drag it to where, wherever you want to drag it so you can add your icon this is it you can go and you change to any icon that you want you can always uh, change the size on the style tab make it big or small or whatever you can change the color change the color here as you like however uh, you also have things like you can even add a spacer just to add space between elements if that is necessary this is blank but add some some space you can add so that is it you want to delete anything hover over the pen icon and then delete uh, yeah so uh you can also add a lot of other interesting things and in elementor there are some that are some widgets that are not available for the free users this this tutorial was for the free version but if you have purchased the pro if i had the my pro license activated you should have had access to this you cannot go so these are the ones that you need to pay to unlock um, but with the free version you can build just a lot of things you can add even image galleries uh, um, like here you can just drag and you can start picking your photos and adding create a gallery and insert and you can create beautiful galleries and you pick every other thing as you as necessary uh, that is up to your taste uh, but basically if you already have your page design and you just want to edit the text you can just always come to this uh, pen icon and click Make sure to be on the content tab so that you change the right content and like you can change that as necessary if you want to change the image hover over it click on the pen which is edit icon make sure you're on the content tab you can always click here and you change the image you will upload a new one that is that is that um and then once you have done everything always make sure to update always make sure to update so if you want to view what you have done just click on the preview and you can see what uh, you have you have been building so far you can you can actually make this really exciting i want to show you how to actually use elementor to add things on a page with design so let's say i wanted to make this other section look really good so i want to add another section on top at the top and so i can right click on this plus here to add a section new and then this and let's say i want to move i can also drag on this page to move things either down i can move this text like here so you can always drag things and rearrange them if you want to according to your taste so like if i want to now drag my heading to a new section you see i've added this section and this is the second section down so i want to drag this text to this first section and i want to do some edits to my text like i click on this section to select so i want to edit the section i want to add a background i click on the section here and i go to like here i go to the style and on background i want to change the background so i change i click here to turn it on and i can pick a color or select i can select a global color or i can pick a different color here so i want to make that blue this blue and now that i've changed the background of this 
and I need to my text has become less it has low contrast so I need to click on text to edit it I go to style and then I to change the color I want to make this color white I just drag change it to to the direction of the color I want and so that is it at the end of the day you want to update and let's say you have done some edits but you want to kind of go back and you don't want to delete it you want just to go back so what you want to do is to go to history and you can always go back to any version that you want back you can always you see some of the edits we have done have probably been removed you can actually go back and you can always go back to your first version by just clicking on 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 the edit that you want and so always come back to the menu and in just to see how it's responsive on various devices you can always use this icon down here to see how it looks on mobile if it's not what you want you may want to click edit and adjust the sizes to fit on mobile all that and you can always click on settings to see the options that are there most of the time you wouldn't be using this um, yeah so those are some of the key things that you need to know on elementor and before we go let's let's add a section an inner section which is just like if i want to add like two columns i use an inner section i drag that and drop and i can add images i can add tags can add even a, a button yeah like that um, add it in. okay let's add again button i add um, tags and if it's not in the right place i drag and drop it there i can of course add other things to this column image tags and button whatever i want to add on the other color i can right click and duplicate i can right click again and creating even a new column which is blank as you can see here i can always right click delete it as necessary and uh, yeah so those are some of the key edits and if you are on any item like any tags you can always on mostly on style you can always see responsiveness on mobile by clicking on this small icon near it and you see how it responds on various devices so that you adjust so that was those were some of the key uh things that you need especially when starting out with elementor it's more advanced there's a lot more you can do on your web page with elementor but these were some of the key things to get you started I hope you found this helpful if you are watching this on youtube please do like this video if you have any more questions leave a comment down below and uh, please do subscribe to my, our channel so that you don't miss important videos like this and uh, i hope you to see you on the next one and just before i go i want to stress that to leave elementor you just have to click on this menu and exit to the dashboard. So that was that. Please do where to like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment on this video. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. See you in the next one.